When I first started practicing, I had a mother come into my practice with a baby. Now I thought when they came in I was going to be treating the mom, but the mom had actually brought the baby in to get treated. What happened was the baby was having difficulty going to the bathroom for three months and the pediatrician kept telling the mother that she was just going to have to grow out of it. However, it was so, um, the mother was just so distraught that she had to get some form of care. So when the mother came in two days before Thanksgiving, I told her that I'm not going to treat the condition specifically, but I'm going to do my very best to try and make your baby's body function uh, more normally and more efficiently. And of course, the principles of re re uh, removing neurological interference was really what I was trying to educate the mother about. So unfortunately, I was leaving for Thanksgiving for four days, and I was only going to be able to see the baby for one treatment. So I adjusted the baby, and all through Thanksgiving, I thought about the baby, hoping that the baby was better, but wasn't sure. And then when I got back on Monday morning after Thanksgiving, the mother had called me in tears, saying that whatever I did helped the baby become more normal in uh, going to the bathroom, and he was going to the bathroom more regularly, and she was extremely happy with the results. So although that was over 10 years ago, that's the one experience I have as a chiropractor that really sticks out in my mind. The second experience is when an older gentleman came in to see me and said he had double vision. And he said, Doc, can you help me? I said, well, I'm not going to treat your double vision, but I'm going to treat your body so that your body functions more efficient neurologically, and we're gonna, we are going to remove any interference that might be going to your eyesight. So after doing a comprehensive evaluation with x-rays and some neurological testing and some manual testing, I was able to determine that there was definitely some interference to the nerves in the neck that go to the eyes. So after 12 treatments, I was able to restore this person's eyesight and allowed him to drive to work every day where for a month he was unable to drive himself because of his vision issues. So these are two experiences that you wouldn't think were neurospinal conditions but were helped through chiropractic and stick out in my mind as two of the most profound experiences I had with patients.